Hi, my name is Adriana Salerno and I'm the visiting mathematician here at the Mathematical Association of America where we organize the American Mathematics competitions. On November 15th, we had the AMC8 which was taken by middle schoolers across the country and even if you didn't take the exam, you can watch this video to see how to start one of the more challenging problems in the AMC8. So today we're going to help you get started with problem 21 from the AMC8. So first, let's read the full statement of the problem. A box contains three red chips and two green chips. Chips are drawn randomly, one at a time without replacement, until all three of the reds are drawn or until both green chips are drawn. What is the probability that the three reds are drawn? Just a quick reminder of probability. The probability P of something happening is the number of ways in which it can happen, so the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of all possible outcomes. So for example, the probability of getting heads when tossing a coin is one half because there's only one side that has heads but there's two possible sides. And so the tricky thing here is that this is not as simple as flipping a coin. There are three red chips and two green chips and there are two ways of finishing this game. You draw them randomly one at a time and then you either stop when you get all three of the reds or when you get both green chips. And so the probability that the three reds are drawn is also sort of the probability that you get the three reds before you get both green chips. Now the easiest thing to do here is to really think about what are all the possible outcomes. For example, say that on my first draw, I get a red chip. And then I get a green chip. And then I get a red, and then a green, and then a red. Right? This would be one of the examples where you don't get all three reds before finishing. You would end right here. Okay? And so this is not, this is a possible outcome, but it's not a favorable outcome. So my hint to you is this. Write all possible draws and count the favorable ones. And that should be it. It's tricky because it's very easy to think of this as something more complicated than it is. But really, all we're doing is using this common formula for probability. So I hope that helps you get started, and good luck!